Hey everybody, welcome to the Rustic South. It is Sherry. How are you today? Today we're going to be remaking something that I had made back uh, for the holidays, the Christmas holidays. Some homes, some houses that I did out of cardboard. There they are on the screen. It was a set of three that I had done with cardboard. And here's the red paint we're using. Here are two of the three houses that we're gonna be making today. And we're also going to be needing some uh, napkins. I found the napkins at Dollar Tree. Some star confetti that I also found at Dollar Tree. And I found those items about a month and a half ago. But I'm sure you can find napkins at Home Goods or another, you know, uh, home decor store if you're choosing Joann's, Michael's, Walmart, any of them, right? They all have this kind of stuff out right now, of course. Um, so right now I'm just going to be taking some red paint. The red paint I'm using is from Dollar Tree. It is like a rusty red. I didn't want bright red. I'm painting stripes on two of the sides of the small house. Um, and then we're going to uh, wet distress them with a wet wipe and then we're going to antique them with some antiquing wax and then on the on the larger home we will be putting the napkins the napkin on three of the sides yes um, so yeah and then we're putting some stars on the larger house too, the styrofoam stars with some rusty wire. So see what you have at home. You, if you don't have the styrofoam stars, you could make them out of cardboard. You could use cereal box for them. You may have some other wooden stars from either Hobby Lobby or Dollar Tree or even Walmart that are wooden. I know the ones from Walmart, they're probably well, from some of most of the places are probably going to be bigger than the stars that I'm going to be using today. But you could probably f do something, find something that will be comparable to the size. You know, um, just as a side note here, you don't have to make sure your lines are perfect because again, we're going to wet distress them with a wet wipe. So you don't have to really worry about the edges being so crisp like I'm making them. You know, that's just um, something that we always do. But if you're going to wet distress them anyway, you're going to blur the lines. So you don't really have to worry about those being crisp, okay? So here we are on the second side. So yeah, once you paint your lines, get out your hair dryer and um, dry them up before you start wet, wet distressing them because you don't want it to smear, to, sh to smear, smear, <laughs> um, big glob, you know, globs of paint, right? You just want the edges to be, um, to be not so crisp when you when you do the the wet distressing
Yeah, so these little white houses, I made these back for the holiday, Christmas holiday season. You can always go back and watch that video if you wish. Now, it may be a little difficult to watch because because that was my very first video that I had done, and I apologize. It is kind of lengthy, um, but you can get the gist of the gist of what size these houses are from that video they're all cardboard and the roofs are are the cardboard um, same cardboard but with uh, one one of the tops removed so you can see the corrugation okay so here's what I'm gonna get out the wet white and you're just you're just rubbing it right that's all you're doing with a wet wipe is just rubbing it until the lines become blurred you're even getting a little red in between the the lines you know because of the wet um, wipe but it's it's okay because that's what I want at least that's what I want on mine if you don't want that on yours then don't do this make your lines nice and crisp leave them that way that's perfectly fine you can even add a little black to the edges if you want it if you don't want to blur the lines you can put a little black on the edges to age them a little maybe the antiquing wax if you don't want to wet distress them i liked the um the blurring of the lines okay so make sure you um blow the Make sure that's all dry before you move on. Okay, so this is my brown ink pad. And we're going to distress that color, deepen the red with the dark brown. And, you know, add some antiquing in between the lines. Okay, so let's work on this is the back side of that little house. So let's work on that. I'm going to paint this blue. Now this blue um, that I'm using is like a denim blue and it is from Hobby Lobby and I've used it before. I apologize. I don't know the name of it. Let me see if I can find it real fast. Yes, it's Crafter's Collection, and it's the Ashen Azure. Ashen, A S H E N, Azure uh, color. And it is from Hobby Lobby. To me, it looks like a denim. On the screen, it looks like a denim color. It's a really pretty blue. So we're going to paint that blue and then we're going to be putting white stars on top of it and then antiquing those as well. And leaving the front, this is the back, leaving the front white and we will put a little sign on that. So find your white paint. This is Apple Barrel White. Make sure you always shake up your paint before you uh, open them. And I'm not going to bore you with painting all of the stars. You just do, I start at the top because you, you know, you don't want to put your hand in it. So yeah, just start as you used to from school, you know, make your A's, you know, draw your star, make your A, and then, you know, draw your other little lines and um, freehand them anywhere you want or there I'm sure the Dollar Tree probably has some star stickers you could probably put on here if you didn't want to paint them or if you have a Cricut you could uh, print some on there
Okay, so I'm going to be painting that side. And so now I'm going to make the sign. Land of the Free. I use my little um, stampers there and I uh, distress the edges with that little tool. But you could always use a, your scissors to do that. Right, and then now we're going to distress it on the brown ink pad. Now I think I do, yeah, I'm going to sand the, the, uh, the front of this. Now I originally made the house, I had put some little glue dots and stuff over the door, but I pulled those off because that's where I'm going to put the sign. So I didn't want that to be... on there but I did leave I had some other glue at the top under the uh, roof but that's okay I left that on there that's fine so yeah so I'm adding a little um, antiquing there to dirty it up a little a little more to the sides and of course these stars are too white so we have got to grunge them up some It almost looks like a little log cabin <laughs> when you look at it from the side there. So I did get out my antiquing wax just to kind of fill in some of that overly white areas. I don't really want to see those. Now I have these sitting in my bathroom because I have so much other stuff by my front door or in my living room area. So I do have these in my guest bathroom sitting on a uh, on a wooden box that I have in there on the counter. And they're really cute in the bathroom to add some, you know, holiday decor. I've had my patriotic stuff out for... Hmm, I don't know, I, got, I guess I would say probably since the beginning of May now. Yeah, I, I didn't really get out too much spring stuff this year. So here we're adding the um, napkin to the side of the house. So of course on your napkin you're going to take off the extra plies that are on the back, okay? <coughs> and and fill in your areas where you, you know, are a little short. You know, even Michael's or Hobby Lobby, you know, might have some little houses, some little kits um, to buy if you, you know, would like to to do this. Or even um, even Dollar Tree has some. <coughs> forgive me. Um, has some little, not little, some wooden, kind of look like houses or barns, if you will, um, standalone um, plaques, I guess you could call them. I don't know. I think they're, I can just call them standalones that you could probably use for this. Of course, they would be just one dimension. They're not four-sided, right? Um, they're about half an inch thick. You know, um, you know, if you just wanted to do the fronts of those, you could, you know, buy those and and paint any any pattern on the front of it, you know, as a uh, patriotic theme, right? So those those might be cute, you know, if you picked up a, two or three of those and do different something different on each of them, and then you know, put them on your wherever you want you're gonna put them. Okay, so here I did not record it because you, you guys know how to paint. So I painted the front side in this house that I made. This is the front because that's the door. I paint the red first. Um, 
and this red is actually the crimson red um, by Waverly. It's a it's a brighter red than the than the red paint you get from Dollar Tree. So so I painted the red first, and then I painted white stars and white stripes on it. And now we're antiquing it a little with a little bit of antiquing wax and some brown stamp pad. And we are also wet distressing this um, a little bit, but I, I did not do it the same that we did the other, the red and white stripe on the other house. Um, I'm not blurring the lines on this one. As you can tell, my stripes are not straight. They're not even even, right? The spacing between them is not even even. I'm I'm not that picky. Um, you know, if you uh, if you are, you know, measure them out by all means and um, and do you, okay? So yeah, so here I'm spraying a little bit of water in the cap. This is the cap of the antiquing wax, so I'm just watering it down because I don't want it big glob, big. Um, I guess dark splotches, if you will, of the dark brown. I want it to um, blend easier. So just adding a little water to make it easier to spread around in a more even fashion. And I hope you're enjoying the video. I hope you have a wonderful Memorial Day weekend and holiday season. If you have kids in school, Yours might be out already for summer. Ours have a few more days to go. And I hope you have a safe holiday uh, weekend. If you're watching this prior to Memorial Weekend. You see those foam stars on the counter there um, by the roof there. That those are the stars I will be using uh, momentarily just to add some whimsy to this. Now I do I do have a third one. I told you this was a two of a set of three that I had made for the Christmas holiday season. I will be taking that third one and redoing it here shortly. I think I'm going to be returning, I'm going to turn it into a barn. So stay tuned for that video. I'm just uh, scuff, you know, grunging up the edges. I don't want to see all that bright white when we grunged up everything else. So yeah, this is almost done. We'll be doing the stars here in a minute. So let me take this opportunity to say thank you so much for stopping by the Rustic South today. I truly appreciate it. I truly appreciate everybody watching my video. I hope you are finding it entertaining. And I hope you get a chance to get in your craft room today and do some crafting. This was fun. Fairly quick because I did have the houses already made. You know, even sometimes um, in Target's dollar spot, their Target spot or whatever it's called, um, they have houses there sometimes, right? Even ceramic ones. Even those ceramic ones, you could do this stuff, right? You could you could totally do any of this stuff to any of those ceramic ones. I know that those ceramic ones were were out at some point. I don't know. Um, I've not found much at Target's dollar spot lately, but. If you have any of those ceramic houses, you could certainly do that, do something similar to those as well. So I think now we're going to be working with the stars. So I'm going to, oh no, I'm going to be making the sign. The sign is going to go on the larger house. It says, I think, Home of the Brave. So I did take that and I, uh, sprayed it I think with water and then I think I rubbed antiquing wax all over the front of it while it was still wet and I even crumpled it up in my hand to you know 
I like that crumpled look. I didn't do that on the other one, but no, that's all right. Um, and so here we're rubbing it on the brown ink pad. So let's glue that on. So here I'm taking in my rusty wire. I did not measure the length of these wires. I just estimated how long I needed because what I'm going to do is I'm going to stick it in that little top window. First we're going to stick this wire up into the star first. Now also too if you don't want to leave these sparkly you could paint them a blue, a white, and a red with just some paint to get rid of that glitter look. Um, and I think I do do that off off camera, which you know you guys don't need to see me doing that. But just you know, use your azure blue, your red from either Dollar Tree or whatever red you like, and your white and to paint over the glitter. You can just paint right over it; it'll be fine. It works just perfect. So I don't even glue these in the house because of the the iron, the rusty wire, I mean, the rusty wire is so um, bendable. Um, it just kind of, when I put it in the window and I bend it the way I want it, it just stayed in place. So I didn't even glue it to the inside of the house. So, you know, we could even take these little houses again at some point either for the holiday again for the holiday season and do something else with them we could remake these into something else later on right so so yeah so i group them together i kind of wrap them around each other a little bit varying heights and i'm going to pop it in that window and then we're going to be done here in a minute so let me take this opportunity to say thank you for watching. I hope you return. I hope you like this video. And please some, consider subscribing to the channel, turning on the notification bell, and sharing with your friends. So there we have it. That's the top, that's the bigger one. See, so yeah, there you can see the white. I think I painted that one white before I stopped the video, maybe. It doesn't look as sparkly as the other ones. And here they are. They're sitting in my bathroom. There's the little wooden box they're sitting on in my bathroom. Different angles. Thank you so much for watching. I shall see you in the next video. Bye.